For decades, Voyager 1 drifted silently into the void, an aging explorer exiled to the outskirts of reality, too far to be useful, too iconic to forget. It was supposed to be a symbol, not a witness. But now, after 45 years in space and with power levels barely strong enough to illuminate a bulb, Voyager 1 has begun transmitting something strange, not gibberish, not static, but something structured, something impossible. A Nobel Prize winning physicist just broke his silence, calling it the most unexpected data set ever returned from the interstellar frontier. And what's more unsettling, it could force us to rethink everything, from the shape of the heliosphere to how the galaxy itself breathes. So stay with us, because what Voyager 1 just discovered might be the key to unlocking a truth the cosmos has hidden for billions of years. Back in 1977, Voyager 1 was launched not as a miracle, but as a gamble. A 1 in 176 year planetary alignment gave NASA a once in a lifetime opportunity, a cosmic hopscotch across the outer planets using nothing but gravity. This grand tour was meant to be short, functional, and perhaps inspirational. But no one imagined that four decades later, this spacecraft, smaller than a car and powered by decaying plutonium, would become the farthest human-made object in existence. It wasn't just the alignment that made it possible. It was a masterpiece of navigation. Engineers calculated gravity slingshots with such precision that a single miscalculation could have ended the mission before it ever reached Saturn. Instead, Voyager flew past Jupiter, watched volcanoes erupt on Io, found oceanic hints beneath Europa, and pierced the methane-rich haze of Titan. Then it sailed past Saturn, said goodbye to the planetary plane, and disappeared into the abyss. But it didn't go silent. It kept listening. It kept measuring. And now, after 45 years, it's returning with a discovery so profound, it has stunned the very minds that sent it. When Voyager 1 stopped transmitting usable data in late 2023, NASA feared the worst. Corruption, aging hardware, a slow death by cosmic radiation. But then, through a maneuver akin to remote brain surgery, engineers revived it, rerouting its 1970s code into backup memory chips billions of miles away. What it sent back wasn't just a heartbeat. It was a scream. Among the routine telemetry was a data set that didn't fit any known model. Plasma wave readings showed persistent oscillations, structured, layered, almost rhythmic. Magnetic field data revealed a steep misalignment, something scientists had predicted only in theory but never expected to observe. A Nobel-winning astrophysicist, reviewing the readings, called them cosmic fingerprints left behind by an unknown mechanism. The implication? Voyager 1 wasn't just in interstellar space, it was inside a region of deep galactic turbulence shaped by the echoes of ancient supernovae and magnetically bound structures never before measured. It had passed into a corridor between invisible forces, and it was still alive to report back. What Voyager 1 began to map isn't a void, it's a hidden geography. The magnetic field it encountered was not only twisted, but offset warped in a way that suggested it had crossed into a region where galactic and solar forces collided. Scientists used to describe the heliosphere as a kind of comet-shaped shield. Now thanks to Voyager, we're learning that shape is unstable, fluctuating with solar activity and environmental pressure. But there's more. Voyager's cosmic ray detectors revealed energy gradients far too sharp to be random. These weren't mere ripples. They were frontiers, boundaries between density zones, Regions where galactic particles slowed or accelerated, like interstellar winds funneled through a landscape of magnetic mountains and valleys. These structures aren't visible. You can't photograph them. But Voyager feels them. And the fact that it's detecting them suggests something deeper. That our galaxy has bones. A skeleton of force lines, fields, and pressure zones that shape the movement of matter across thousands of light years. And we've only just begun to trace the first vertebrae. Voyager 1 shouldn't be alive. Its power supply, three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, has been declining steadily since launch. And yet somehow, they've managed to keep the core systems running. Each watt is a negotiation, each transmission a miracle. But that power, however faint, is giving us our only direct data from interstellar space. And here's the twist. Some of that data suggests the environment Voyager is now entering is not passive. It's reactive. 
The cosmic rays aren't evenly distributed. Plasma densities spike and fall as though responding to movement, like a system with memory, a weather pattern with intelligence. The interstellar medium, once thought to be static, now seems to pulse. Voyager has revealed that even out here, 15 billion miles from the sun, space isn't silent. It's active, it's whispering, and every whisper might be a remnant of something catastrophic or intentional. The real question isn't just what Voyager is measuring, it's whether something, somewhere, has noticed that we're listening. For years, scientists debated where exactly the solar system ends. Was it a clean line, a transition zone, or something more elusive? When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind is finally overtaken by the interstellar medium, it wasn't the quiet crossing many expected. The instruments recorded a sudden shift in particle flow, plasma density, and magnetic field direction. It wasn't gradual. It was immediate, like stepping from warm sunlight into freezing wind. This region, once thought to be a buffer zone, turned out to be a turbulent barrier, a churning sea of solar and galactic forces colliding in real time. But what made it truly shocking was what lay beyond. Instead of peaceful space, Voyager found chaos. The galactic medium wasn't uniform, but filled with irregularities, swirls, and high-energy disruptions. The spacecraft wasn't drifting into stillness. It was entering a battlefield of invisible forces. The heliosphere, it turns out, isn't a bubble. It's a shield. And Voyager just passed through the last thin membrane of our cosmic protection. Voyager 1 carries a message from Earth, a gold-plated disc with images, sounds, and greetings from our world. It's often described as humanity's bottle in the cosmic ocean. But recent anomalies in Voyager's signal transmission have reignited an old debate. What if the record was more than symbolic? Engineers have noticed subtle shifts in signal latency and background carrier frequencies, so subtle they almost went unnoticed. When combined with previous anomalies, like the structured hums and harmonics embedded in plasma wave readings, some theorists have suggested a chilling possibility that Voyager's presence in interstellar space has not gone unnoticed. Could it be that the very act of sending a message was enough to trigger an echo? Not a reply in the traditional sense, but a reaction, like sonar bouncing back from something waiting in the dark. A Nobel physicist hinted at this in a recent closed-door symposium. Voyager may have turned a cosmic key and something opened. If that's true, then the golden record wasn't just a message. It was an introduction. And maybe someone or something was listening. What Voyager is doing now is more than exploration. It's cartography of the impossible. With every reading it sends, scientists are plotting a new kind of map. Not one of stars or planets, but of pressure zones, magnetic seams, and radiation gradients. These are the highways and barriers of interstellar space. Regions where cosmic rays accelerate or are dampened. Zones of turbulence like invisible weather fronts that stretch across dozens of astronomical units. Voyager's instruments, still clinging to life, are detecting these features with precision far beyond what astronomers expected. One surprising discovery was a magnetic twist, a region where the galactic magnetic field curled in a spiral pattern not unlike the twisted strands of DNA. Some believe this could be part of the larger structure of the Milky Way, an invisible scaffolding holding together the interstellar medium. If so, Voyager isn't just drifting. It's navigating a cosmic skeleton, and the map it's drawing might one day become the foundation for how we travel between stars. Not just knowing where to go, but where it's safe and where it's not. Every day, Voyager grows fainter. Its signal is now so weak that Earth's most powerful receivers must sift it from a sea of cosmic noise. Its power source, decaying plutonium, is dwindling fast. Soon, one by one, the instruments will shut down. The plasma detector, the cosmic ray sensor, the magnetometer, silence will return. But before that moment arrives, Voyager 1 is racing to deliver as much as it can. Data from the edge, clues from beyond the light. And what it's revealing is not just science, it's poetry. That the cold, dark regions between stars are not empty. That even in the most lifeless stretches of space, there is structure, motion, and mystery. As it drifts ever deeper, Voyager may cross boundaries we didn't even know existed, into pressure waves shaped by ancient supernova, into regions of low-density voids, or perhaps into fields still unexplained. 
What it finds next may never be fully understood. But one thing is certain, we'll be listening until the very last whisper. Voyager 1 was never meant to last this long. Built with 1970s hardware, designed for a four-year mission, and powered by less electricity than a household light bulb, it should have fallen silent decades ago. And yet, here it is, still transmitting, still defying time, still revealing the invisible bones of a galaxy we thought we understood. But maybe Voyager's greatest discovery isn't plasma readings or magnetic turbulence. Maybe it's this, that silence is not emptiness, that distance is not isolation, and that even in the most forgotten corners of the cosmos, something ancient remains. It has shown us that the edge of the solar system is not a wall, but a veil. And beyond that veil lies a realm of motion, memory, and echoes we've only just begun to interpret. So when that final signal comes, when Voyager 1 goes quiet forever, it won't be the end. It will be the legacy of a message carried farther than any voice in human history. A machine, frozen in time, still whispering who we were, where we came from, and what we dared to seek. And now, the question is yours to answer. Do you think Voyager 1 has already crossed into something we were never meant to find? Let us know in the comments. And if you believe some frontiers are worth crossing, no matter the cost, hit that subscribe button, activate the bell, and share this video with someone who still looks up at the stars and wonders what's out there, because the universe just blinked, and Voyager blinked back.